Today, I would like to show you SIR, which is the Special Education Reporting System. And this is the site you're going to go to to create IEPs and progress reports, etc. Since my password is saved already in SIR, it won't show you the initial login page. So one thing we have to do every, I think, four months is change our password. So I'm going to go to that right now. And I'll type out the website so you can write it down and have it uh, bookmarked for your own record. I'm going to put in my user ID. And I am going to um, do my date of birth and last four. I'm going to change my password. And then confirm it and save. I'm going to go ahead and update my password. And then I'm going to go to SIR um, program itself. Now, when you first sign into SIR, it's going to ask for your username and your password. Now, even though when I changed my password, I put in my username as E028SPM, when you sign into SIR, you need to include the LDOE forward slash, then your username. So it's going to be LDOE forward slash E028SPM is my username and then my password. And I'm going to update. So when SIR first opens, this is going to be the landing page. You can search for a student right here, or you can do a previous or new search. I'm going to go to new search because this will give you more options. I'm going to look for a student that I need to write an IEP for. So even though I have him right here as a recent student, you can still look him up here and then make sure that you are in Lafayette Parish Schools. Now, it may be natural to want to hit return or enter after you enter the names, but all it does is clear all this out. So let me show you what happens if you just hit enter. And it just clears it out. So make sure that you do use the actual search button. Then you click on their state ID. And this is the student profile. Information that you're gonna need, such as when the student entered services, um, their grade, date of birth, and state ID. All this information is going to go, um, well, most of this information is going to go on the SIR page that you're going to submit when you submit an IEP. Second thing is, whenever you need to create an IEP, you go to IEP Forms. And right here, you can view what they have as a current IEP, or you can add a new one. If I add a new one, then it opens up another window where you've been trained um, on how to write an IEP. This is where you would go to create your new IEP. If you want to know who the primary TOR is, that's teacher of record, for the student, go to the service tab right here, the button, and it shows that I am the TOR for this student.
previously, it was Troy Duga and Ralph Bork. So that's mainly what you need for SIR when it comes to student reporting. This area, my reports, you can run your own roster from this section. So typically, it's gonna, all the tabs are gonna be closed off. You would think you go to rosters, but that's not the case. Go to service reports, teacher listing. Give your report a title or a description, and I'm going to title this one 928, and add to my reports. This will run the roster of every special ed teacher in the parish, and so once it runs and you download it, word of advice, do not print, because it'll print like 600 pages. Find your pages and when you go to print them, just make sure you choose those specific pages. Let's go ahead and fast forward this process. Now, you can choose View. And as you can see, it's actually 700 pages but it's listed by teacher. So I already know that I'm like in the 400s. So I'm gonna scroll down. So right here's Leger, so I need to keep going. Here we go. Kinda of lost some alphabet there. So I am page 452 through 453. So I would go to print, where it says all, custom 452 through 453. And print. So that way I'm only gonna print my roster. And this is something that you're gonna want to do often you know, maybe once every nine weeks or so, just to verify that you have all the correct students on your roster in SIR, which will give you their IEP date and their last eval, which are two very important things. The IEP date is the date their IEP expires for the state level. For Lafayette Parish, we need to have this IEP done one month prior to the expiration for the state. Let's take, for example, 3121. We need to have it submitted to the state by 3122. But for Lafayette Parish, you need to have it done by 2122. So these are the dates you need to pay attention to. And make sure that you account for 11 months and not 12, because we need to have that one month buffer. As long as you get your Lafayette Parish ones done in time, then you have no problem with the State Department ones. So now that I have my roster printed, I'm just gonna go through and verify that I have all the correct students listed on my roster and in my roll book. And if there's anything that looks out of place, let Samantha know and they will take care of it for you.